Hi guys, I welcome you to a small lecture today on fractal antennas. Uh, this is a small topic that uh, is very important and plays a very uh, crucial role in the technology that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. And I just wanted to explain something that may be a foreign concept to some people, uh, i.e. fractals and maybe how antennas work just in our normal day-to-day -day lives. Moving on, a fractal is a curve or geometric figure, highly mathematical also, each part which has the same statistical character as the whole. This is a famous picture that may, uh, many of you have seen. Uh, there is a famous uh, physicist, the uh, mathematician uh, Mendelbrot, uh, who worked for IBM for a time, who actually uh, dubbed the name and created the, uh, the book about fractals as well uh, in the 70s and 80s era. Antenna definition. Uh, what you're looking at, first of all, is a access point. This is a under the hood look um, of what you might see under many access points in office buildings. And uh, an antenna, by definition, is a rod, wire, or other device used to transmit or receive electromagnetic signals. Uh, for example, radio waves. And this is exactly what Wi Fi devices use and such, as we're looking at. Antenna science. Uh, this comes down to effective length. So there is a direct relationship between antenna length, frequency, and wavelength. Uh, the length of the antenna is determined by how high the frequency is compared to the wavelength. There is an inversely proportional relationship to the frequency and a directly proportional relationship to the wavelength, which determines effective length. Now, the easiest way to describe this is a lower frequency will need a higher or a longer antenna to transmit and receive from whereas a higher frequency would require a smaller antenna to transmit and receive from okay so keep that in mind now i just skipped ahead to this in the previous slide by accident but our example today looks like this this is our broad brand, broadband fractal antenna example this picture that you are looking for is in every single cell phone on the planet okay this is what we call a fractal antenna and i'm going to explain and break this down how fractals and antennas work hand in hand to deliver our experience in the day-to-day -day life using wireless radio technology and such so for example a bigger Wavelength. Now, if you're looking at this, yes, there is math behind the picture, but if you're looking at this in the broader sense, a 2.4 gigahertz is a lower frequency, which would require a bigger antenna. If you look at the array of a fractal, and we know that it's a, it's a relationship between the smaller self and the bigger self, we have it, this large example, a cross, and this will give us a larger antenna, which will satisfy and accommodate for those uh, smaller, lower frequencies. Now moving on, on an access point, we've also seen like when we go out and we buy our routers, they have the five gigahertz band. Okay, well, what does that look like in this example? This is the same antenna, but because of its fractal nature, we now have five smaller subdivisions, but they are all replications and mirror images of the overall structure as a whole. And they're all shorter and smaller to accommodate for this higher frequency, the antenna length. And even moving further in more advanced technology, which we have Wi-Fi 7 coming out in uh, 2024 and 2025 and beyond, Wi-Fi 7, this six gigahertz example is going to be even more compacted. But again, what you're seeing in these purple lines is the same exact frequency replicated, or sorry, the same exact structure replicated over and over again, just at a smaller scale, smaller and smaller antennas replicated to allow for that, that uh, adaption of that six gigahertz frequency. And this is all within that same antenna structure. So this is fractal antenna engineering and design. And our citation today, uh, this is all taken from a source called the DNA as fractal antenna in electromagnetic fields. We did not discuss DNA today, just strictly about fractals and antennas. Um, and of course, there's a citation. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I hope you learned something from this. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.